Okay, so uh, no intro or outro today, but um, you can tell it's like 4.30. Well, it was 4.30. It was 4.45 in the morning, so. <sighs> Usually I don't like to do update videos like this, but it's not really going to be that they're talking about Elon Musk or Kanye West. And I haven't talked about a video of Elon in a long time. The last time I heard he was going to do a Vine video. Vine video. He was going to try to bring back the Vine social media platform app from a while back, 2016, when it died out. It was kaput, gone forever. And all those people ended up migrating and not <laughs> to what used to be called Facebook Meta. They were going to go to Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. Which now Twitter sucks. Just thanks to him or not. <laughs> I don't even know if he would call it the Vine app. He'd probably make a different name for like two X's. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so. Uh, it's been a while since I talked about Mr. EA himself. Uh, it's been a long ass time. Sorry, my voice sounds a little funky. I'm like half asleep right now. <sighs> so there is that. You're gonna be hearing a lot of yawning because I'm doing this. And I have two other videos in the works, so it's mainly gonna be a quick update at the end. If you want to link links, scripture about down below. To us, I know it's like two and a half weeks old, whatever. Because I'm like talking about celebrity gossip news, but I'm burning on literally two things of peanut butter and jelly sandwich for Smuckers. Smuckers, strawberry, and strawberry, and um, what's it called? Peanut butter. I think I have it with me. I don't know. Actually, it's there in the background. Hold on one sec. Yeah, it's so completely irrelevant to the video, but yeah. I have it with some skippies. There, there it is. Smuckers. <laughs> That's funny. That's Charlie White Voice Critical's favorite word, too. <laughs> the goobers. <laughs> I wonder if that's where he got that stuff from, because I tried to look in a Reddit and see if he got it from there, or if he got it from that 2009, 2010 viral video from back in the day. And I like, have skeptics, yeah, I'm still good at heart. I know, judge me. Yeah, um, there's a video to this. So it says, Bianca Sensori essentially goes barefoot in Disneyland with Kanye West from Newsweek, so... I just don't really talk about gossip, celebrity gossip news. This is mainstream, extra mainstream gossip news. Usually the celebrities I look for is either <coughs> excuse me, the ones that are real big. Kick, Twitch, Twitter, Dexerto, Sports Kid is talking about mainly e-internet celebrities. Like big giant Twitch streamers, giant YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, Discord peeps like that, you know? Or ones on Kick. Those are the ones I usually like follow. Well, not following, following, like, I'm actually a subscriber on, on another Patreon or coffee like that. No, not like that. No. I just, like, talking a lot of mess and ish about them. <laughs> that type of following. And the mainstream ones, I rarely ever talk about. Plus, is the main reason why I don't really like talking about mainstream media celebrities. But, pff, there it is. This is the video down below. Let's just jump into it. And I said it was music to it, but I didn't hear anything. It was what it was. Oh, okay. So it was the one that I thought was the one in Europe or Japan or the one in Disneyland, Disney World, the one in California, or the Florida one. Okay. This is insane. feel funny uh, I'll just read some of the articles I wanted to talk about real quick and that's it. Bianca Sensori was all but completely bare for what isn't his own husband yeah pretty much everything I said there and this lady at this point I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I should have made jokes like this but hey, it looks serious it looks like she's a I'm not gonna say but she looks like she's one of those people that are in the 
not in the deep cahoots with the FBI, CIA, DA, NSA, and the people that do like um, the opposite word of racketeering. Like with um, when you're stuck in traffic. That's the only way I could say. It looks like she's involved in one of those things. Like how the last year, whole Balenciaga was a really huge thing. And everything was, oh, it's the labor of blank, you know what, trafficking. I don't know if that lady's involved in any of this. I wouldn't be surprised because she looks, in my personal opinion, way bugged the hell out of her mind. Man, yeah, he's been looking like this for a while. I'm not surprised. He said a lot of crazy wild ass. Massive. Cataclysmically. Absolutely primordially, gargantuous, gargantuous, ginormous, huge unhinged shit. Even the other stuff with the blank white lives matter with the other chick can and so on. So I'm not gonna get into that because now I really don't really want to get into politics at all. Period. But I saw an article and I don't know if it was really fake. It was an April seventh, so it was way late last month. So <laughs> way too late to talk about it. This one's only two and a half weeks, so that's why I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. Since the story appeared to wear nothing, looking like the band aids, and her feet while strolling hand to hand through California Park, it came Disneyland. Same thing the other one, Florida Disney World. I don't know if that's the Florida man, Florida woman fools. I know you guys get crapped on a whole bunch of times. And forgive me, I'm bumming out a little bit. <clears throat> April 16th, per photos obtained by DMZ, Sensori, who was the last wet with the penny was. December 2022, after serving architecture design for his easy brand. Oh god, he's still doing that freaking like ugly, disgusting, pathetic ass shoe. I'm sorry, the Air Jordans. I almost never heard that, man. I'm so glad I was never a sneakerhead growing up as a 90s kid or even a shirt person. Like, I understand and get it. A lot of these, not even just blacks, certain Spanish Latinos. Like, the ones I grew up in, freaking. To call them Spanish Harlem, you know, city, and upstate New York. They grew up in these real super, super shitty, run down neighborhoods, like Section 8, real, real ultra ghetto, gutter, project Section 8 housing. I came from that too. I came from the racks of riches. Oh, I still dress like a bum. Huh? No, right now, I rarely ever do this, but I got an old school hole in that shirt. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's plus like 4 50 in the morning, so there's that. <laughs> Um, I never glamorized or worship everything, little thing of fashion, material, well, I get it. Some of these broken dudes in 70s, 80s, 90s when I'm growing up in these real bad, fucked up projects, real bad circumstances in the neighborhoods, and they grew up from being extremely dirt, dirt, shit, cheap, gutter, and sitting in the poorest, and they couldn't even know where they were going to get their next breakfast. Thank God I wasn't that poor to the point where, oh. I don't know why I'm gonna get my next breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm not trying to make this personal about me, but I knew dudes and all. So it's a lot of that are Dominican, Puerto Rican, Cuban dudes I was not living with, but I used to see them once or twice out of the week after we hung out together occasionally sometimes. And they would glamorize the shit out of that, man. I'm like, oh, I want the chain, I want the wristwatch, I want this, I want that, I want my. I'm gonna age the shit out of myself. I want my PS1, N64, GameCube, and I wanna. Sega Dreamcast and all that. Like, I'm too poor to get it. I want to go steal that mother after. You know, I, I will never forget those days. And as I started stealing shit from like the stores and all that, I just didn't hang out with them no more. I hang out with a lot of the dirt, nerdy, geeky dudes that like anime and manga. Different time at that time. Nowadays, a lot of cool kids and Gen Zers and Gen Alpha kids, they all, and now the cool, badass kids like anime and manga. I mean, look at anime virtual VTubers. Back in the day, and I was, if you liked any of that, you were shitting on, you were spat on, you were pissed on, shitting on, not literally, but like, word of mouth, you were shitting on. There's no way you'd ever have a wife or a girlfriend or cool, cute, little, like, grade school, middle school, high school sweetheart, ever, back then. <laughs> the world was a whole different place in our viewpoints and shit. Compared to now, it's a lot more progressive, but to a certain extent, vice versa, sometimes it's not good either. I'm just going to rant about it. Let's go back to EA. Kanye West. <sighs> That's crazy. It's something sensory. Da da da. Architecture is easy. Hand in the pair for the ace. Bandages. I'll put the short curve. 
hugging dress in the same room. Rapper for his past did wear shoes often to go for a pair of sneakers. I said, West was also Kanye West was also looking for a departure for his usual all black ensemble and everything ensemble. Choosing to it looks like it says ensemble, but that's how you're supposed to say ensemble. Choosing to wear a white hoodie, light colored pants, per the outlet. I went on several rides at the theme park. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. That's great. Oh, this is older. This is when they were in February. Okay. So three months ago. So it was a while ago. Yeah, and that was another thing I remember. Thoughts, views, and opinions. I'm not going to get to that, but it's all about the politics. You guys can read that. That dude's a fucking lost cause, bro. Honestly. One of these days, I'm not going to be surprised. Like, after he was going all crazy last year and before being on the AJ's Yon So and Mark Dice and a lot of these. Like I said, I don't want to get into politics. Whether he was leading on the super far extreme leftist side or the far extreme rightist, hardcore Republican side or the far leftist Democrat side, all left, all right, far leftist, far rightist, all that other fucking lingo language of the wokeism crap. It's still the same freaking bird. It's two different wings, but it's still part of the same freaking bald American eagle bird. They're both probably best buddies and best pals when you don't see like all these old people fucks I know all of them white too all the old seniors my Latinos blacks Asians uh, whites the ones that are all in the white mainly here talking about the United States I don't know Canada I know they got their parliament but it's different over there and the same with the UK I don't know what is over there in Europe and Australia how all the other political political politicians are but I can guarantee you the second that old shitty C-SPAN camera thing turns off they're probably all like giving each other pet pats, giving each other like baths, and then they're probably like they're shitting big time and just making the rest of the country super, super, super ultra divided, especially the, here in the United States. I can't imagine how bad it is. I know a lot of other shit's going on out there too. The one thing we started with the shit that's going on with a lot of these college campuses, the one in New York City and LA with the whole thing, you can't talk about it at all, period, because. It has stuff with to do with the small Jewish, you know who, the, that and the whole, the P word, not the other one, oh, that's underage child, you know, and that pedos, not that, I'm talking about the other one, the ones that are Arab Middle East from West Indy, and that thing's been going on way before the United States was even a country, and just that October 7th thing that happened, <laughs> mm, and just screwed everything up badly. And it incinerated everything real bad. And all these college campuses fights that are going on. Free this, free that side. I'm just going to say the Star David people. Star David people versus the ones that are like the... The ones that were in the Bible called the Philistines. And it's modern day Iraq and Iran. Mainly a lot of them. I'm not even going to get into that. They're just clashing badly. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I know a lot of mainly mainstream, mainstream media a lot. I see it. I'm not going nowhere near that. I'm going to pretend that this doesn't exist. I know it exists. If I were to get deep, deep ass discussions, probably in my critical eye realization rant channel, or maybe on BitChute, right now, on a rumble or something, and stuff. That's where I talk about that stuff. I don't know, maybe next Sunday or Monday, maybe Tuesday, I'll talk about it over there. What's happening? You just rumble and right now, on a BitChute since like probably January. So it's been a while. So yeah, let's talk about the other stuff. <laughs> this is funny. I'm probably going to do this on another separate video. But this is crazy, man. It says, mother, you know what? He says, I'm not going to say unalive as himself, but he ended up being a charlatan and a heathenist. It's a heathens herself. Acts like a hooker whore, pretty much. A live street for sons, a meme coin, the ghost. Mom uses her fun bags. <laughs> Help her son pump a meme coin on the call live mom to 300k marketing cap. That's crazy, bro. I can't believe that's even a real thing, but it is. And this is a real old video game industry news. I'm still talking about it. It's four days old. Cult Classic Xbox 360 game remaster may be getting a reveal soon. A long awaited remaster of the cult. The video game Xbox 360 PS3 generations. A Yeti. A fool. Reveal of the near future. Eddie Gunzer. 
I can't say what it was, but it's the one if any of you guys remember Terror Strong, that Lollipop Chainsaw game, that's the one. Lollipop Chainsaw is a remake called Classic, may finally be getting a proper remake, remaster, bringing a legendary zombie battle with <sighs> named Julie. And if any of you guys don't remember what this one was, this is what I'm talking about. I don't think I gotta zoom in. Oh yeah, I can. It's the one that Terror Strong played. I highly doubt they're going to make her super over pretty and over sexualized and beautiful and attractive like that. I mean, if they screwed up the chick from two years ago and sports spoke and then the last year they made Tifa and Eric Gaysboro wear all of this freaking thick ass clothing and especially the whole Stellar Blade shit that happened last week that jump up and pop off. She's probably not going to be that beautiful looking. Maybe for all the Japanese, Asian, and European and Australian possibly and New Zealand people, they might get it. Her to be super pretty and beautiful like that and remake my asters, but here in the United States, and that's funny, this is coming from somebody that's super fat, super overweight, and not really good looking, attractive either. But I don't condone this, any of this either. <laughs> that's like the old school saying, EX, it sells like hotcakes. She's not gonna be super beautiful, pretty, attractive, and gorgeous, and very easy on the eyes, eye candy anymore. She's probably gonna be in a big sweater. Probably gonna be at this point. No offense to people that are in wheelchairs or people that are deaf and blind or people that are probably missing arms and legs. That's probably what she's gonna end up looking like. Something on Tumblr, Twitter X. Some sick frick is gonna get off to. Even if she was the polar opposite of us. She's not. She's probably not gonna look like that. I might do something separate one. Who knows? That's all I say for now. I'm out here. Sisters, down below. And that's it. No outro. Peace out. See you guys soon. Safe, 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 cautious. And I'm out here. Take it easy. June, July, August, if you made it to the end of this video, I probably only do like one video every week. Not because I'm, oh, I'm leaving and I'm getting off the platform and leaving the social media place of Tubi or YouTube, but yeah, I, I gotta do it for my health, mental well being. Plus, I did want to take a lot more old school martial art classes. I did say I was gonna do that in February, and I already did my physical therapy thing, thank God. It's nice and freaking firm. Let's go. Thank God, this thing was crooked real bad, and my journey's over. Thank God, yesterday was my last day I had to do that freaking class, but I'm gonna miss the person who gave me all the therapy. I'm not, and I got these really cool metallic Chinese wall levels, cool, and putty, and I got a really cool like hand and arm massager. That was cool. Get your fucking minds out of the gutter. It's not a fucking no or none of that shit. All right, lights. Talk to you soon. Long. Sexual cautious and. Stay easy on the streets, bro. <laughs> this is more than life than this, I guarantee you. Mount, later. Let's see. Still enjoy the video, guys. I'm out.